Good morning, crafty friends. Okay, to continue in my watercoloring flower series, today we're going to do these wild violets. And living in the south, these violets have been a part of my life, my whole life. And I know a lot of people, I mean, it's a weed, but they're gorgeous. And, I mean, they're just beautiful flowers. So, um, anyway, that's what I'm going to color today. And I have, I talked about before that you can layer watercolor. So, I'm going to do a little bit of that in this video. So, when you layer, you color, you use one color, then you let it completely dry. And then you put another color over the top of it and blend to it. And, um, and it makes a third color. So, it, and it changes the depth. So, that's what we're going to shoot for. So, I am going to, I'm going to start with this. It's called Thistle. And it's a purple, um, but it has, and you see I tested some colors down here. And it's this, these two. So, these violets, the color of them, the leaves and the petals are this intense, beautiful purple that, um, I don't, it's just hard to describe. The color is just so saturated in them that I almost didn't, I almost decided not to do them with these, but then I thought, you know, um, that's what my series is, so that's what I'm going to do. But, um, and I'm going to attempt to get that richness now. I don't know if I'll succeed, but, you know, we'll see. Um, it'll, it'll, be a, it'll be a respectable violet any way we look at it. All right, so I'm just going to color. I'm not going to color the very center because the throat of a violet for a tiny space gets really, really dark. So it goes from looking purple to almost navy blue. And then the throat of them usually is yellow, maybe with a little white, maybe not. There's also ones that, that the petals have white in them. There's ones that are only white. But our variety here that we're going to color with today are going to be the ones that are more colorful. Because they're really my favorites. The others are beautiful, but y'all know I love some color. And Bessie is getting a haircut this morning. That's why she is not on the phone. So we're just going to color all of these. And I'll color some of the petals, you know, different depths down, and that'll just you know, make them not all look so exactly like each other. That one. And then this little fella, he's just starting to open up. So his pink, his, his lightest parts are going to be around these edges. These are going to be really dark right in there. Okay. So. Now, we're going to do this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is keep that in there. I'm pulling the color down the throat because I want this color to appear through the other colors where it can. And I might have to go back and add more. You know, that's your thing. You just do it. You just do it and see what happens. Or, let me rephrase. That's how I do it. I'm sure that somebody that teaches this and actually knows what they're doing might have some better tips for you. But this is my way. So, and the great thing about these dyes is 
all those lines hold the color more so you automatically have that amount of shading so that works to your benefit veining or whatever you want to call it so all right all right so that's this pencil thistle then while that's drying a little bit I'm gonna go in with this color it's called spring green okay so the leaves of violets are a really intense they're saturated just like the flowers are but whoopsie the very centers of them where the where the brightness is it's not necessarily a color change but it's a color change that your eye sees um, when the light hits it okay so I'm just kind of on the on the curves where there would be curves that's where I'm using this all right so there's that one and then here's my dark color so I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna go right up to that all right so all along every edge it's really gonna be dark and then you know where the lights hitting that's where it's gonna be light so when we blend that that's what we'll be looking for And again, you know, the beauty of these watercolor pencils is, and and doing them like this in a piece of paper, no, um, you don't have to worry about any lines, <laughs> staying in any lines. But I am going to go around the outside edge with a little more color. because I really want there to be a good saturation of color just like there would be in the flower okay that's what I'm trying to achieve Ugh. how many times have I done that okay now let's go over these so you see how that's given me not just one flat color because no, there's not too much that is just one flat color if there's a light source there's going to be a change of color okay so I'm going to go over this, the part that I want to pick up light first and blend back into the depth of color. So whenever I hit that light part, you know, I want that to be a smooth transition, but I don't want to get rid of it. Can you see how that's bringing that forward just because it's a little bit lighter there? And I'm going to have to add um, another coat of this when it's dry because I know that's not as green as I'm going to want it to be. Okay. All right, so that's dry. So I'm going to take my, this is a dark blue. It's called Deep Indigo. And so right here, this is actually two things. The color gets more intense right here because it's closer to the throat of the flower where it opens up. But it's also more intense because when the petals open, uh, I can't bend up my finger like that. There's a bend in the, oh, that's not a good example. 
Okay, there's a bend in the petal like this. And so where that bend is, there's a darkness. And so that's where you're gonna see the very darkest value is right there along that bend. And then wherever one petal touches another, okay? Y'all hear extra water running, my dishwasher's on. <laughs> extra water besides the gigantic fish tank. I've had several people say they have to go to the potty when they're, when they watch my videos. <laughs> uh, you get used to it after a little while. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit more because this flower is gonna be darker. In these places. know if they're if um, wild violets I haven't investigated to see if they grow everywhere or not y'all have to let me know I think my fish are mating y'all or whatever it is fish do there's a lot of flopping and splashing going on in there that is not standard okay now then, we'll do this layer. Then let it dry, and then we'll go back over here. Alrighty, so we're just gonna pull from the darkest to, out to the light color on each one of these petals, okay? Now we're gonna have a, another color that goes in between here, so I'm not so concerned about how dark that looks right now and that it doesn't that it looks like it's too much because it is but when I add the next color I'm hoping that um, that will uh, take care of that if it doesn't I'll do something else Let's go back with this green. And like I said, uh, I've said before, one of the things about using watercolor pencils is, you know, you don't always have to go in with water. If you're happy with, with the look that you get from just the pencil, stick with it. This one's giving me a fit. It does not want to stay in its place. Mm. 
Okay. He's just going to come out. That's all. That is all. Get all around those edges. Now then, this is deep violet. Okay. So I'm going to go over the darkest color and go out about the same way to my lightest color. And what this is going to do is it will still give me like a dark, a medium, and a light value of this color and the one that's mixed, you know, because the one that I'm going over. And it's going to add more of the purple. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. And again, this is a 110 pound cardstock. It's not watercolor paper. Watercolors react different on on everything that you use them on. Um, but I find that this works just fine for me. Okie dokie, here we go. All right, so that's, see that color right there? That's the color I'm looking for. That's what a purple wild violet looks like. Yeah. like that. You know, I made dandelions yesterday, and I uh, can't tell you how many hundreds of times as a kid, and my grandbabies too, dandelions and violets, they're beautiful together, both weeds. People don't want them in their yards, but they're beautiful. And I have... Um, I love rocks, and I have a lot of rocks in the backyard. And the violets love to grow over at the bases of the rocks. Uh, there's nothing prettier than the contrast of that gray and these beautiful colors popping from it. All right, let's give them some yellow in the middle. I think I will use this one and it is golden yellow okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there 
because there is the you know the actual pollen producing stamen in the middle and then there's a, a, a area of white now I'm going to make sure that my brush that the water's running clear because I don't want any I'm just barely going to touch this because I want to make sure that I leave the white and then I'm going to I have to sharpen this I'm just going to go, uh, not showing up too much. I might have to use a gel pen. Come on, my pencil, are you working? There we go. Just a little is all I'm looking for. Just that little bit of light. And people who can really watercolor, <laughs> unlike me, um, they leave white, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't work that way for me. I have tried, and I, and I can't. I don't seem to be able to get it. So, you know, this works for me. Might work for you. Hopefully it will. Hopefully the biggest thing is that you enjoy you will enjoy it. And just it's it's so relaxing, you know, because it's like coloring and then playing with some water and you know just having some fun. No pressure. Alright. Let's see what we got. Let me get my my daffodils over here because you know, I told you that's my was my childhood jam. Okay. So these are these are low growing. Lower than most um, than most um, dandelions. Yeah, there they are. So looky there. What do y'all think? One more thing. I think it needs one more tiny little line in each one of those. Give it just a little bit. Oh yeah, that was it. More depth. See how that did that? Just a little bit. You still, you, you still to your eye, you see that it's yellow, but that gives you some depth as to, you know, it gives you the shape. Okay, so there is, there are my violets. And again, these are dyes from um, Eiffel Store on AliExpress. Um, I still have a crocus and... Either it's either an aster or a mom or a mom. I think it might be an aster. And oranges, I believe. So we'll have a few more and um in flowers and uh and then maybe we'll move on to something else if y'all like this. But I'm making a playlist of watercolor so that if you know, if you want to go and follow along or go back, it'll be easy to find. So anyway, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Get your watercolor pencils out and play. Love you guys. Blessings.